The Story of the Poor Shepherdess by St. Alphonsus Liguori. It is narrated by Father Oriama that a poor shepherdess loved Mary so much that all her delight was to go to a little chapel of Our Lady on a mountain. And there, in solitude, while her sheep were feeding, to converse with her beloved mother and pay devotion to her. When she saw that the figure of Mary, in relief, was unadorned, she began by the poor labour of her hands to make a drapery for it. Having gathered one day some flowers in the fields, she wove them into a garland, and then ascending the altar of that little chapel, placed it on the head of the figure, saying, O oh my mother, I would that I could place on thy head a crown of gold and gems. But as I am poor, receive from me this poor crown of flowers, and accept it as a token of the love I bear thee. Thus, this devout maiden always endeavoured to serve and honour her beloved lady. But let us see how our good mother, on the other hand, rewarded the visits and the affection of her child. She fell ill and was near her end. It happened that two religious passing that way, weary with travelling, stopped to rest under a tree. One fell asleep and the other watched, but both had the same vision. They saw a company of beautiful virgins, and among them there was one who in loveliness and majesty surpassed the rest. One of the brothers addressed her and said, Lady, who art thou, and where art thou going? I am the mother of God, she replied, and I am going to the neighboring village with these holy virgins to visit a dying shepherdess who has many times visited me. She spoke thus and disappeared. These two good servants of God proposed to each other to go and visit her also. They went towards the place where the dying maiden lived, entered a small cottage, and there found her lying upon a little straw. They saluted her, and she said to them, Brothers, ask of God that he may permit you to see the company that surrounds me. They were quickly on their knees, and saw Mary with a crown in her hand by the side of the dying girl, consoling her. Then these holy virgins began to sing, and with that sweet music, the blessed soul was released from the body. Mary crowned her and took her soul with her to paradise.